With more than a billion websites to choose from, only a small fraction of them are truly useful. Over the years, I've shown you hundreds of sites, some of which were more helpful than others. To determine the best of all those websites I've shown you, we've narrowed down the list and we'll now show you more than 10 of our absolute favorite websites we think are the most useful. Let's get started. First up, in no particular order, is 10-Minute Mail. The site is great when you don't want to use your real email address. It gives you a throwaway temporary email address that will expire in 10 minutes. This is especially useful on sites that require email address validation or any other purpose. For example, this website requires an email address to download their software. I'll just enter in the one I copied from 10-Minute Mail and paste it here. The emails will now show up here on the 10 minute mail site until they expire. Alternative two is a fantastic service which helps you to find alternatives for desktop computer software, web-based software, and mobile apps. I will use Adobe Premiere Pro in this example. Enter the name of the program here at the top. Select it from the drop-down list. You will now see a description of that program. Below that are the top alternatives to Premiere Pro. It will give you a brief description, reviews, the type of software that program is. In this case, Kden Live is free and open source. It will also show you the operating systems that program supports. Up next is Khan Academy. It was founded way back in 2006 and is perhaps one of the best educational websites. On Khan Academy, students learn at their own pace in several categories, including math, computing, science and engineering, and many others. In addition to the various courses listed, they even offer test prep for college entrance exams, including the SAT. Fake Spot is for those of you that are suspicious of online reviews. And with all the fake reviews online, who wouldn't be? It filters product reviews from various websites, including Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart, and many others. It analyzes suspicious patterns and incentivized reviews to find out what real users are saying about the products that you want to buy. Here's how it works. Copy the URL from the address bar of the product you might want to buy. Back on the fake spot website, paste the URL into the search box and select Analyze Reviews. Based on the authenticity of the existing reviews, it will give the product a review grade of A to F. The review grade for this product is a C. In the overview section, you can get additional details. According to their analysis, approximately 71 reviews have been altered, modified, or removed. The review pattern may involve deception and the content quality of the reviews is low. This information on FakeSpot might be useful for you if you're on the fence about buying a product. Virus Total is a free service using more than 60 security scanners to detect viruses, malware, and other types of malicious content. Even if you use anti-malware or antivirus software on your computer, Virus Total should be used as an extra layer of security to inspect suspicious files and websites. Since I last mentioned Virus Total, it has a whole new look. You still have the option to scan a file, URL, and the search tab also lets you scan a URL, IP address, domain, or file hash. The two tabs I use most often are file and URL. To check a file on your computer, select choose file. Now just find the file that you want to check and click on open. If at the top, if it says that no engines detected this file, that is the positive result you want. Back on the virus total homepage to scan a URL, just paste it here in the search box. If you get a result that looks similar to this, it might be best to avoid that website. With the large amount of data breaches over the last few years, Have I Been Pwned is a website you should visit frequently to find out if any of your accounts have been compromised. In the search box, enter your email address. According to this, that account has been pwned on seven sites that have been breached and zero pastes have been found. A paste is information posted on a public website designed to share information anonymously. If you scroll down the page, 
You'll find the sites that were breached where your account may be compromised. If your account was compromised, change your login password or your email account and for each company listed where your account may have been breached. Solo Learn is our top recommendation for beginners that want to learn the absolute basics of programming. In addition to their website, you can also learn on the go with their Android and iOS apps. Unlike similar websites like Codecademy, Solo Learn is completely free with tutorials for Python, JavaScript, Ruby, HTML, CSS, and many others. Once you select a course, just follow the instructions and work at your own pace. If you're like me and you prefer to do repairs yourself, iFixit's website that you should have bookmarked. In addition to selling tools and parts, they also have free repair guides for many of today's popular electronic devices along with those long forgotten. There are more than a dozen categories to choose from, including PC, camera, Mac, phone, and many others. After you have found your repair guide, it will show you the difficulty level, how many steps are involved, the time required, along with the tools needed to complete the job. Below that, you just need to complete the easy to follow step-by-step -step directions in order. This will be a quick one. Is it down right now? As the name suggests, lets you check to find out if a website is down or not. It's simple to use. A computer science degree is not required to use this site. Just enter the name of a website and select it. It will now show you the response time in milliseconds. The lower the better. The last time that site was down and it will also let you know whether that site is currently up or down along with other information listed below. When setting up a new Windows PC, Nanite is an awesome package manager that lets you install multiple programs all at once without any extra junk like toolbars. Here is how it works. Select the programs listed that you would like to install that they have available. I'll go with Handbrake, Blender, GIMP, ShareX, and Glary in Utilities. When you're done making your selections, click on Get Your Ninite. I won't be running this again. Just find the location you saved it to and run it to install the programs you selected. To keep your programs up to date, just go back to the location where you saved the installer and run it again. It will then update those programs. If you shop on Amazon, Camel 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 is a tracker that monitors the price of millions of products on the shopping site. Even though I don't shop on Amazon all of the time, it's still useful to determine the right time to buy, especially when shopping for computer parts. In the search bar, you can enter keywords to find your product or the URL from the Amazon product page. You will now have the opportunity to create a price alert with your desired price. If you scroll down, you can check the price history chart and history. For example, this item has dropped nearly $500 in the last six months and I expect the price to drop even more by year's end. Wolfram Alpha is a computational knowledge engine that answers factual queries by computing the answers from externally sourced curated data. In other words, the founder refers to it as a fact search engine. Instead of pointing you to other web pages like the typical search engine, it returns answers instead. To find out the other types of queries you can do with Wolfram Alpha, select the categories listed, and it will show you various examples. When simply just looking for answers, Wolfram Alpha is the source I go to first. For those of you yelling at your screen right now, why didn't they include YouTube? This one's for you. While there is a large amount of totally worthless content and channels that lower the overall intelligence quotient on the service, you can learn something as simple as boiling an egg, there's tutorials that will help you fix your car, and you can even learn how to build a house. That about does it for this video. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you know of a useful website that could benefit others, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell for more useful websites and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.